It's a scene that has all the signs of your average courtroom. Like my client Asha Ji wants to divorce from her husband. Objection, Milord. Milord, this is our sentiment. Milord, this is our sentiment. Cut, cut, cut. इनके जरिए बाल ठीक करने इधर से अपना दी आई दी पकाई हो। But it's actually a TV set for a melodrama unlike any India has ever seen. In charge today is Feroz Abbas Khan, a famous Bollywood director. The soap is a popular format, so we are trying to replicate that. So we'll be able to reach a large audience because they would actually come in thinking it's a like a regular courtroom drama, and once they come in. They get something which they were not read, you know, they were not expecting. He wants to use soap operas to tackle some of the country's biggest taboos. A huge mission in a deeply conservative society. And is this format risky, do you think? Whether this or not, we don't know. I mean, you know, it's only in the prospect of failure that perhaps something new can happen. Roll cameras, all cameras rolling. Action. पीरियड्स के उन दिनों में भी आप अपनी पत्नी को किचन में जाने देते हैं? नो। क्या आप उस दौरान वो अपने छह साल के बेटे और अपने तीन साल की मासूम बेटी को वैसे ही बाकी के दिनों के जैसे गोद में लेकर खिला सकती? नो, नेवर। The show is called Court of Sex, part entertainment, part education. It uses humour to debunk traditional myths around anything from masturbation to female feticide. Do you have permission to go to the Pooja room in the period of time? Absolutely not. This episode is about women's periods. Why? Why do you mean? At the time of the period, ladies are impure, right? They are not pure. You are not pure. You are not a woman. You don't know what you mean. You mean, Mr. Murthy, that your husband is in his house. During the period of time, it's a good thing. Objection! Objection overruled. Feroz is trying to tackle entrenched male points of view that see many women marginalised in India today. Something he wants to change. Action. So the whole idea of entertainment education is to change behaviour. Behaviour towards some social norms and behaviour towards things that are regressive and we show them a more progressive way that they could emulate in their lives. लेकिन ये जो साइकल है ना जी, ये हर महीने अपने आप में रिपीट होती रहती है, ये ध्यान रखो। डॉक्टर साहब, हम सदियों से ये मानते आए हैं कि पीरियड में जो खून बहता है, वो इम्प्योर होता है, अपवित्र होता है। तो क्या ये हमारी मान्यता गलत है? In each of these scenes, there's a moment of awakening, a twist in one of the characters' thinking. And Feroz is hoping that the same thing will take place in audiences right across India. But I can't help but wonder whether change will come this easily. India is a country where women's rights are largely unheard of. It's alongside the world's top economies, but not long ago, it was labelled the worst in which to be a female. At risk of acid attacks, marital rape, child marriage and sex selection, women face an entrenched discrimination from birth. So can a soap opera really change people's views. This is not done to either titillate or anything of that sort. We want to break those taboos. Topics which are not discussed openly, we want to bring that into open. We want to do it on a, on a, in, in a space where normally there is silence. For Feroz, the ultimate aim of Court of Sex is breaking the powerful grip of India's conservative patriarchy by giving women a voice on TV. I've come to a village outside Mumbai where women's issues are barely discussed. To work, Court of Sex will need to reach places like this if it's to make any significant change. It won't be easy. Here, even the most basic education about female bodies is still considered taboo.
आपको कोई पता नहीं था इस बार आई लगन संगाई नहीं बहुत समझ कपड़े क्लास इज ऑलरेडी पुशिंग बाउंड्रीज फॉर द विलेज बिकॉज ऑल ट्रेडिशन मेन पीरियड्स आर कन्सिडर्ड इन प्युअर धुवन टाक आंतर मग पूर्वी लोक अड़ाए स्वयंपाक नहीं बनवाय भांडना हाथ नहीं लवा तो घर नहीं आम स्वयंपाक घर पे शरत पैल NGOs fill the gap out here. With no sex education in schools, they find groups of confused and nervous girls. आप बता सकते हैं? बोला? नहीं जेब पर लेता थे बोला इतने लाज़े ची काई ज़रूरत नहीं है। मावे तुम ही शुरुआत करा थोड़ा। बोला? Just getting these girls to talk about menstruation is pretty much impossible. Why is it embarrassing? शेयर करतो ब्रेकिंग दिस इज एन अनोमस चैलेंज इट मेक्स फेरोज आइडिया ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग चेंज थ्रू टी वी सोप सेम इम्पॉसिबल हैव यू एवर सीन एनी थिंग ऑन टी वी अबाउट इट टीवी मध्य टीवी संगित Do you guys have internet? In the cities, phones and the internet are everywhere, giving young women access to new ideas about gender equality. Court of Sex is a web series because the internet is where this new wave of feminist entertainment is really taking off. Walk across? Yes, across. And online, it's for women made Ready? by women. And action. These girls are YouTube superstars. So with our videos, we are just trying to tell the guy that listen, you're doing something wrong. and we won't shy away from it we are going to talk to you about it and in this case it's squatting you know it is Maybe can you and i tell you we can't go to the toilet yeah we can't go to the toilet because it's dirty you must you can stand up baby we can today they're making a comedy sketch about how difficult it is for women just to go to the toilet here the video is called to pee or not to pee so we're kind of trying to highlight the whole uh, condition that we as girls kind of sometimes have to face is because the uh, toilets are dirty or there aren't enough toilets aur har bar kisi dirty toilet seat par baithne ki jagah pure 2.5 minute lehrana padta hai jaise penalty pe goalkeeping chal rahi ho yeah you have to do that you have to put your butt out up 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 that exactly that The group is called Girly Yappa and their videos get millions of views online. So I think it's speaking to two kinds of female audiences. One is uh the people who actually kind of already feel the same way and I think it's also being slightly aspirational for uh probably like you mentioned the rural areas and people who are probably who've not seen things or life the way we have. I think it's slightly aspirational for them to feel that okay we can also do this. On a break from shooting, Tracy shows me one of Girly Apper's most successful and controversial videos. It's called How I Raped Your Mother. Generation na aaj ka. Re papa, re hota hai mera. Kaise kiya re? Chhod gaya na use. Shot like a sitcom complete with laugh track. The video is a disturbing look at patriarchal attitudes in the family. Ha papa, Arun mera pati mera rape karta hai. Marital rape. Oh. <laughs> is marital rape a concept here? Is it illegal? No, it's not. Uh and I think uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, not a concept. It's sort of yeah. knowledge. It's not a knowledge as like, a crime. It's not yeah. considered rape. If yeah. you're married, it's supposed to be a woman's duty to satisfy her husband after he comes back from work. Yeah. Home. So rape even uh, without her co- consent is considered to be her duty. Consent. Consent. Doesn't, doesn't exist here. Mm-hmm. 
it's yeah. not about uh ki okay are you okay with it or not it's like okay i you want to be okay, okay to, with it yeah you have to be okay with it A recent study by the UN's Population Fund found a third of men in eight Indian states admitted to having forced a sexual act upon their wives or partners at some point in their lives. Often the abuse is explained away as tradition. Men's groups are now rallying across the country, trying to undo the inroads shows like Court of Sex and Girly Yappa are trying to make. In Mumbai, the Twitter army is around around 170 people on Twitter. A woman can do anything in India. The only thing is she requires to be a woman. Groups like this blame progressive TV shows for turning society against men and say the programs encourage too many rights and freedoms. Being a woman, I can abuse anybody. I can say anything that comes to my mind. I can say anything negative about religion and I can get away with it. But being a man, can you... Take that liberty. No, no, can you can you do that? Can, do, can you have that ri uh, rights or guts or strength to say something wrong against somebody and get away with that? No. no. Every week they meet to support each other in their battles against feminist ideas. Do you think that media is not paying that attention to men's uh, problems? Just because the... they are men, they are neglected. Okay. Everyone here says feminism is criminalizing men, encouraging women to lay fake charges against them. How many of us have domestic violence case? Everybody are accused. Anybody has 376 rape, rape case on the list? Only one. And I also have 377 unnatural sex. Did you commit any crimes, any cases against you before marriage? No. Never. So suddenly after after doing this marriage, everybody has turned to be a criminal out here. Yes. Yes. The big crime which we have done, get married. Get married. Indian woman. With Indian woman. Men's rights are? Human rights. See you next week. Thank you. As the group packs up, I realise just how difficult change will be. Do you think that marital rape is a concept that exists? No, I don't think so. But uh, most feminist NGOs are trying to bring this concept in India. Are you saying that all of those cases near today are fake? They're not real? Uh, I would say 99% all of the cases are, are you know, fake. 99% exactly. All of the cases are fake. What needs to change in the media? What all this family, all whatever is in their head, all feminism, that has to be changed, that has to come out. Because of this feminism, everything is gone. To really understand just how deep these attitudes run, and how far shows like Court of Sex have to go to overturn them. I'm meeting a survivor of a rising form of assault. In 2009, my husband had an acid attack. And at night, I had an acid attack at 5.30am. I had an acid attack at 5.30am. I had a treatment at 3.30am in the hospital. At that time, I had to kill myself. But what do you do now? What do you say? As if you do it, you don't want to do it. Kavita was just 16 when she was married off to her husband. An alcoholic, her husband felt threatened by Kavita working, grew jealous and attacked her when she was just 21. Do you think that he resented the amount of freedom you had? There's so much stigma attached to her injuries. Kavita now can't get a job or afford to live on her own. Everything is under? Yeah, everything. It is 150, for yours 100. Together with her son, she's forced to live with her husband's family. 
Her son Richie is now 11 years old and she says he doesn't need a soap opera or web series to teach him how to respect women. Kavita is not convinced a TV show will make any real difference. अगर ऐसा TV shows में आएगा जो है बता रहा है, उससे अगर देखा जाएगी, सब देखेगी तो बदला हो सकता है। कोई नहीं देखा तो कैसा बदला हो सकता है? Back on the set of Court of Sex, director Feroz Abbas Khan is pushing on with another episode. And action. We realize that if the men change, the process of change will be much faster. And that's why our program is also targeted towards men. By taking conservative fears seriously, Court of Sex tries to reveal just how absurd they really are and help men see that equality isn't a threat to family values. Those conservative ideas also come from the fact they feel that the family is a very powerful unit and the family can only be together if women are subservient. If men get sensitized, when they become partners of change, then I think we have a very sensitive society, a more progressive society, and that's what I think we were aiming at. Court of Sex is actually a spin-off of a much bigger soap opera that's already achieving phenomenal success. This show's reaching an audience of 400 million people across TV and radio. It's called Main Kuch Bhi Kar Sakti Hoon. I, a woman, can achieve anything. And that's the woman. And that's you, Rina. And that's can do anything as a writer. <laughs> a doctor. A bit of an activist also. And Airing on India's public broadcaster, the soap has just been named one of the world's most watched television programs. We were like little birds, ready to take off into the air. The show set up a telephone line asking viewers to call with their own stories about how it had changed them. And it's quite staggering is that the data tells us that almost 50% men were watching. And I think that to me is a, is a huge success of this program. For Minal Vashnav, playing the lead role in a TV soap now comes with serious responsibility. Because I can't be Minal anymore. I always have to be conscious about maintaining Sneha's image because people are so inspired. They are looking up to Dr. Sneha. They want to be like her. They want to learn everything from her. And not just women, also men. Stories are equipment of life that you somehow get these things from stories and then you absorb it and then you get empowered with those stories so that you can understand life and understand relationships and can take it forward. Some of the most powerful calls lodged from fans have come from the heartland of India. Before I leave, Feroz tells me to drop in to a tiny village in the central state of Madhya Pradesh. 22-year-old Ladvika Kushwaha is the first girl here to make it to college. So, I started to see her as a story of her own story. I started to see her as a story of her own story. हाँ हमने कुछ जैसे कि उन्हें किया तो ऐसे ही हम करेंगे तो हमें आती है वो इतना छोटे से घर से निकल के इतनी बड़ी डॉक्टर बन सकती है अपनी मेहनत से तो हम भी इसने हर जैसी मेहनत करेंगे तो हम भी बन जाएंगे। Ladvika has faced threats from some in her village for shunning the traditional responsibilities of a girl. But even though they may not be ready for change, thanks to a soap opera. Now her biggest supporter is her dad. 
तो हमें लगा कि हमारे घर वाले भी गुस्सा होंगे क्योंकि वो भी कहती थी हमें नहीं पढ़ाना तो जैसे कि उसमें स्नेहा ने भी बहुत कुछ डॉक्टर स्नेहा थी उनने इतनी सारी विपत्ति संघर्ष किया उन्हें बहुत सारी कठिनाइयों से भी जूझना पड़ा ये सब देखते हुए फिर जब हमने उनको समझाया देखो एक लड़की इतना कर सकती है अगर उसे सबका साथ मिले तो वो और कितना आगे बढ़ सकती है Africa isn't alone. Not far from her is Sunil, a musician and father. He's also an avid watcher of Feroz's TV show. He's now turned some of his music towards feminism. मैं सब से यही कहता हूँ कि हे माँ, हे माता सरस्वती, सब के कंठ में तुम ऐसे बैठ जा कि आदमी के दिल से ये निकल जाए कि लड़की कुछ नहीं कर सकती. जो उसने मेहनत की जो उसने तकलीफ भोगी वो हमें एहसास भी नहीं है इसलिए मर्द अपने आप को ये गलत समझ रहे हैं वो देवी है और मान लीजिए परिवार की धुरी है Back at home I meet his wife Rajni and she tells me about some small but important changes in their relationship उनको ये लग रहा था लगने लगता कि इनके साथ कैसे शादी हो गई मैं तो यहाँ से पहले वो सम ही हो जाते थे डांटते भी थे वो पहले तो महिला मतलब पत्नी के लिए कुछ समझते ही नहीं थे कि पत्नी क्या चीज़ होती है जब उन्हें सीरियल देखा तो वो सब कुछ समझने लगे नहीं तो डॉक्टर स्नेहा कुछ भी कर सकती हैं तो ये भी तो महिला हैं तो ये भी कुछ भी कर सकती हैं उसी देख देख के सब परिस्थिति सामने अच्छे से करने लगे हैं Sunil's now teaching his daughter to read, which in villages like this is usually something only boys learn to do. ये घोड़ा कहाँ है घोड़ा? जो है घोड़ा? These may be modest changes, but Sunil's daughter is living proof of how a single positive role model on TV can spark changes. That could last for generations. It could just be a kind of a spark. It could ignite something in the minds and hearts of the people, so that there's a chain reaction to it. I believe that we are just a catalyst.